Hello friends we all know that drinking coffee is very good but do you know that it can have many side effects? We are discussing some of such bad side effects and some advantages in this video. Please watch the video till the end. Also let us know what you feel about. For more such videos, don't forget to subscribe our channel. 1. Coffee improves your physical efficiency. Have a cup of black coffee about an hour prior to exercise and your performance can improve by 11 to 12 percent. Caffeine increases adrenaline levels in your blood. Adrenaline is your body's battle or flight hormonal agent which assists you to prepare for physical exertion. 2. Coffee might assist you slim down. Coffee includes magnesium and potassium, which helps the human body usage insulin, regulating blood sugar level levels and decreasing your craving for sugary treats and snacks. 3. Coffee assists you burn fat. Caffeine helps fat cells break down body fat and utilize it as fuel for training. 4. Coffee assists you focus and stay alert. Moderate caffeine intake, 1 to 6 cups a day, assists you focus and improves your mental awareness. 5. Coffee decreases risk of death. Studies have revealed that coffee drinkers' overall risk of sudden death is 25% lower than of those who don't consume coffee. 6. Coffee minimizes danger of cancers. One research study has actually revealed that coffee might decrease the risk of establishing prostate cancer in men by 20%, and endometrial cancer in women by 25%. Individuals in the test group drank four cups of coffee a day. Caffeine may also prevent developing of basal cell cancer, the most common kind of skin cancer. 7. Coffee reduces threat of stroke. Affordable intake of coffee, too, four cups a day, is associated with lower threat of stroke. 8. Coffee lowers threat of Parkinson's disease. Research studies have shown that regular coffee drinking reduces danger of Parkinson's illness by 25%. There's proof that coffee triggers activity in the part of the brain impacted by Parkinson's. 9. Coffee protects your body. Coffee contains a great deal of antioxidants, that work as little warriors battling and securing versus totally free radicals within your body. 10. Coffee might decrease danger of type 2 diabetes. Caffeine decreases your insulin level of sensitivity and hinders glucose tolerance, for that reason lowers your risk of type 2 diabetes. 11. Coffee safeguards your brain. High caffeine levels in your blood minimize the danger of Alzheimer illness. It likewise reduces threat of dementia. 12. Coffee brightens your mood, helps combat anxiety and decreases danger of suicide. Caffeine promotes the central nervous system and boosts production of neurotransmitters like serotonin, dopamine, and noradrenaline, which raise your state of mind. Two cups of coffee a day prevents risk of suicide by 50%. If you are interested in adding natural stimulants to improve your coffee, have a look at some ideas here. 6 Disadvantages and Risks of Coffee Drinking 1. Bad coffee can be poisonous. Bad quality coffee can have a great deal of pollutants in it, which can trigger sickness, headache or a basic tension. This can occur if your coffee is made from beans that have actually been over-ripped or otherwise messed up. Even one ruined bean can make your cup toxic. If you invest and buy high-quality, speciality coffee you do not need to worry about this. 2. Coffee can kill you. Yes, if you drink 80 to 100 cups, 23 liters, in a short session. This dosage is lethal and will amount in 10 to 13 grams of caffeine within your body. Before you reach this point, nevertheless, you'll be throwing up the majority of it out since 23 liters of any liquid is a lot. Even drinking 23 liters of water can kill you. 3. Coffee can cause insomnia and restlessness. Again, it's the caffeine working here. Your advised maximum quantity of caffeine is 400 mg, approximately the quantity that you'll get from 4 cups of coffee. If you're caffeine sensitive, be careful with coffee. You are most likely already conscious what amount and what sort of coffee matches, or does not suit you. The quantity of caffeine that is safe for human intake is actually written in our DNA. 4. Don't consume more than one cup a day if you're pregnant. 
Studies on coffee's effect on a fetus have been questionable. However, something is sure. If you consume coffee when pregnant, caffeine will also reach the fetus, and your child is extremely conscious caffeine. So, if you're a heavyweight coffee drinker and can't stop consuming it while pregnant, a minimum of lower your coffee consumption to one cup a day. 5. If you have high cholesterol please pick filtered coffee. Coffee beans include cafestol and kawol, two ingredients that appear to raise LDL cholesterol levels. Filtering the coffee traps most of the LDL, but cafestol and kawol are found in espresso, Turkish coffee, French press and Scandinavian design, prepared coffee. The consumption of LDL from a cup of espresso is still so small, that for people with typical cholesterol levels, won't be at risk. There are likewise some research studies at initial phases of diagnosis that have found marks that cafestol and kawol might have some advantageous anti-cancer impacts, and be good for your liver. 6. Coffee for kids, may increase bedwetting. One survey reported that caffeine usage of 5-7-year-old kids may increase aneurysis aka bedwetting.